Hello Lavar friends, there was another release for version 9.23. Should we check it out together? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. First, we have a new addition to Adisan. So yeah, Adisan is getting a lot of love lately. Tim McDonald added a new PHP Artisan Docs features to give you easily access to the docs through the console. With the common PHP Artisan Docs, you will now get an overview of documentation topics. You can then choose one of them, one specific topic, and you will get to the corresponding page in the docs. But you can also be more specific by providing the topic right for the comment itself, like PHP Artisan Docs and testing which is very nice. And we can even be more specific by adding testing and parallel, and we will get to the right page under the docs. Pretty cool, right? This feature has still its limits. So for example, when I was trying to look for API topics, I didn't get any results. I could look through all the given topics and maybe I would find it, but just by providing API does not help. Also, if I'm searching for something that is not given, I'm missing the arrow because I have to scroll up here again, here, here. So this is a bit annoying, but I'm sure this is something that the team will work on and improve in the future. I'm a big console fan myself, so that's why I'm very happy about this new addition. Thank you, Tim. In Eloquent, it was already possible to create or update a model quietly, which means without triggering any events. Now it's also possible to delete a model quietly. Thank you, Angerin. Next, there is now a new were not method, which you can use for fluently testing a JSON response. It's pretty straightforward. While testing JSON fluently, like here for this endpoint, we already have some nice methods for checking specific properties like the where method. And now with the new addition, we can also use the where not method and our test here is still passing, which is great. Thank you, Mateus. The next merge PR added the conditionable trade to file system adapters. In Laravel, there are many places where I can use the handy when and unless helper methods. Like here in this example, where we're creating a string and we're going to add out well when this first condition is true. These methods like this one often come from a trait called conditionable. It only consists of the two methods, when and unless. Now this trait was added to the file system adapter, so this means we can now use those methods when dealing with the storage facade. And now here we can check that we only want to delete a specific file if this condition is true. Thank you, Ralph. And last, we have no VIT features in Lava regarding support for content security policy headers and more. This pull request would need a whole separate video just on its own to explain all the new features in detail. That's why I recommend going to the documentation. Of course, we're going to use the new comment to get there and check out all the new features there. It's also a good idea to check out the pull request itself because Tim has provided a lot of details here, which will make it very easy for you to understand what's going on. Thank you again, Tim. All right, that's it for the level 9.23 release. As always, have fun with the new features and see you the next time. Hello, Laravel friends. There was another release in Laravel for version 9.23. 20, 23. <laughs>